Well, good morning. It's uh, coffee time again, and uh, I'm glad you're with me. Uh, last The last couple of weeks, actually last three or four weeks, I've been working on <clears throat> one of my older films called In the Shadow of Babylon. Uh, we, ha we haven't sold too many of those over the years, but it's a tremendous film that explains one of the great mysteries of the Bible, Mystery Babylon, Mother of Harlots, in the 17th and 18th chapter of the book of Revelation. And not too many people really talk about Mystery Babylon, Mother of Harlots, but it's a very important section of scripture because it outlines there uh, a force that's in the world that has been operating <clears throat> now for thousands of years and uh, goes on with uh, this pervasive, unrelenting force against the uh, the people of the world and yet it's very very rarely ever talked about and I'm hoping that <clears throat> you'll get that film because it'll really give you a, an objectivity that uh, you otherwise wouldn't have unless you knew something about it or had studied it or gotten a good uh, uh, education fr from from your church about it but most churches don't even talk about it any longer and so it's a very 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 important film especially now as we uh, enter into this uh, final gun lap of the uh, presidential election because Mystery Babylon is about politics, it's about culture, it's about the pervasive force of money, uh, it's about false religion. All of these are wrapped up in what is commonly called, it's not really that common, but is what Mystery Babylon, Mother of Harlots, is about. It's a seducing power that the inhabitants of the world are drunk with. Now, if there's anything that comes close to that in these present days, it's the, the drunkenness that people uh, have uh, entered into with regards to this election year between Obama and Senator McCain. And uh, it just seems that the news is... Uh, is uh, all about this election and it's all anybody can talk about uh, people are, are uh, inebriated by the topic and yet uh, politics if you get down to try to define what politics is it really is the determination and the the process whereby men uh, consider and then finally do determine how they will be ruled it's uh, it's man's way of figuring out how to rule himself and so we have this uh, tremendous drama, uh, this tremendous conflict unfolding uh, as we go forward within a couple months now, two or three months, uh, there'll be a new president to the United States and it'll uh, bring us to a whole new era of, of life in the United States and of course it'll affect the whole world. Now I'm not saying we shouldn't be concerned about it because we're talking about Mystery Babylon Mother of Harlots. We should be very concerned about it and do everything we can to slow down the effect of Mystery Babylon on our lives. Nevertheless, we do need to understand that some things are locked into place and uh, cannot be changed. And it's really uh, a matter of how fast we go towards the rocks or how slow we go towards the rocks. That's really the decision that we have because we are heading towards some kind of... Uh, uh, crash uh, into the rocks and there's really no stopping it there's only a, a, a means of slowing it down it's almost like a ship you can be blown by the wind faster if the sails are up than if the sails are not up but the force of the storm behind our backs is going to force us into a bad situation and uh, it's inevitable and mystery Babylon is this incredible uh, uh, woman uh, harlot woman who sits on a beast and I've talked about the beast a lot in my uh, coffee blogs and on my articles and in my books uh, we're, we're republishing my book uh, cracking the, the code uh, excuse me America globalism and the false prophet the, the film is cracking the prophetic code if you haven't gotten that it, it's a tremendous uh, teaching that gives you an understanding of how the United States and England fit into biblical prophecy and the beast with the seven heads and the ten horns is about this uh, this continuous political economic system that has uh, evolved over thousands of years upon which Mystery Babylon, mother of harlots, this great harlot, sits. And uh, so it's important to, to understand these images because they are codes that uh, tell us something that's going on in the negative aspect uh, of, of existence that's pushing the world towards a, a, a conclusion and a climax. And here we are 
living in the valley of these forces and most of us are just inebriated by the forces and don't understand what's going on and that's why it's important to study the past and to study prophecies because they will give us an objectivity that uh, helps us understand where everything, where everything is going. A lot of times I can't watch for example a, a football game especially when it's my favorite team. I get too anxious about it and uh, but if I know what the outcome is going to be then I can watch the re replay of it and, and be relatively uh, in, enjoy the uh, be at peace and enjoy the film. What's well, kind of like why we uh, study history and study prophecy so we can we can we kind of know where things are going and uh, we don't have to be as full of anxiety and, and fear. So I'm, I'm hoping you get this film uh, because it's an important film. Mystery Babylon, Mother of Harlot should be done in about two or three weeks. We'll post the new, it, well, you can get it now, but we're re-editing it to make it smarter, sharper, more interesting to watch. But in about two or three weeks it'll be ready to go and we're, we're wanting to get it uh, on television as well. So uh, let, let's not get so caught up with the elections that we forget that uh, we're spiritual people and we know that uh, these things that are happening in the world are men's perceptions of the way things should go but we're more than men we've been we've been connected with the kingdom of God the throne of God and we're spiritual people so let's be spiritual about the elections and not be caught up with the fanaticism of it okay